Hey everyone, this is Michelle Goldstein and you're at Heart Alchemy Yoga on YouTube. Please subscribe to Heart Alchemy if you haven't already and please like, share and comment on the videos. Let us know how your practice is going. We love hearing from you. You can also sign up for our email list at heartalchemyyoga.com and you can find us on Instagram and Facebook as well. We're filming today at Home Yoga in Costa Mesa, and I've got Heather here. She is a teacher herself, and she's being gracious enough to demo for us today. So let's get into our yoga flow, and we'll start out seated today. Come to sit on your mat, and however feels comfortable for you, allow your eyes to close. And feel where your sitting bones touch the ground. And ground down through that place. And as you begin to deepen your breath, Grow tall through the crown of your head. Good, and let's reach both arms up to the sky. And take a twist to the right, left hand to the right knee. Right hand to the floor behind you. And be super gentle, especially as we start. Feel the shoulder heads gently retract. And the breath flow. Come back to center, reach both arms up. Bring the palms together in front of your heart. And let's switch the cross of the legs. And reach the arms back up. And we'll twist to the other side. And feel the navel hug in a little bit. And from that point, Explore the rotation of your spine. Space across the collarbones. Good, back to center, both arms reach up. And let's plant the hands to the ground in front of you. Roll onto your hands and knees. And tuck your toes under and press back to your first down dog of your practice. Beautiful. Begin to push up out of the shoulders. And feel the upper thighs, the femur bones, hug back into the hip sockets. Good. And then inhale to plank. Take a few breaths here. Allow your elbows to be soft and like buoyant, right? As opposed to locked out. 
Feel your tailbone lengthen toward your heels and your ribs, your rib cage. Just hug in. Good. One more inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog pose. Good. Deep breath in through the nose. And like you're fogging up a mirror out the mouth. Good. Again, shift forward to plank and either hold plank or take one half push up with your elbows hugged in and press back up to plank. Good. And back to downward dog. Good, inhale through the nose and out the mouth. Good, so one more time we'll shift forward to plank and either hold plank or take one half push up and press back up and back to downward dog. Nice, let's Step the right foot up to the front of your space. Come up to crescent pose. Hmm. Good. And feel the arms draw down into the shoulder sockets. And keep that as you extend out through the fingertips. Good. Bring the palms together in front of your heart, please. And step the left foot up to meet the right at the top of your space. With the palms together, arms reach up, inhale. And then with wide arms, fold forward. On the exhale, lengthen on your inhale. Exhale, step back to plank. And lower down to chaturanga. Good. Inhale, upward facing dog. Good. Exhale, downward facing dog. Got a couple of deep breaths here. Now we ground down through the palms of the hands and the soles of the feet. Even if your heels are lifted, this is an energetic grounding down through the parts of you that touch the ground. Left foot steps up to the front of your space. Core engaged, rise up to pre present. So the, the limbs of the body, they like to live in the joints. So sink the arms into the shoulder sockets, hips draw or legs draw into the hip sockets. And then you extend out and stretch from there. Beautiful. Good, so take an inhale here. And as you exhale, palms connect at the heart. You step the right foot up to meet the left with the palms together. Arms reach up, inhale. With wide arms, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step back to plank and lower down to chaturanga. Good. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward dog. So first we ground 
And then we lift out of that place. So this is finding stability, right? The tallest trees have the deepest roots. Let's step right foot up to the front of your mat, back heel flat, come to warrior two. And feel those legs hug in toward the midline, arms hug in toward the heart, corners of the mouth lift. Good. And then we'll take a reverse warrior on an inhale to get length through the side body. As you exhale, lower the hands down to your mat, step back to plank and take a vinyasa from here. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Good, exhale, downward dog, left foot steps through, warrior two. A deep breath. And within the strength and that grounded space, that centered space, that lifted space, relax. God. Good. Reverse your warrior on an inhale. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Step to plank, lower to chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Beautiful, let's lift the heels on an inhale. Look between the hands as you exhale, bring the feet forward. Good, lengthen, inhale, fold, exhale. Okay, Utkatasana, inhale, fold forward, exhale. Good, lengthen, inhale, exhale to Chaturanga, make your way back. Good, inhale, upward facing. Exhale, down dog, right foot steps through, back heel flat, warrior one, inhale. Exhale, release the hands, step to plank, lower to chaturanga. Good, inhale, upward dog. Exhale, down dog, left foot steps through, back heel flat, come up, Warrior one, inhale, exhale, let it go. Inhale up, exhale back. Each breath becomes the next breath. Keep yourself mindful of the ground that you stand on. Good. Inhale, heels up. Exhale, look forward and bring your feet to your hands. Good, lengthen, inhale, fold, exhale. Chair pose, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Good, inhale, lengthen. 
Okay, jump back or step back. If you jump back, engage the thighs, right? Inhale up, exhale, pull it back. Right foot steps through, warrior one, inhale. Exhale, release and lower. Inhale up, exhale, down dog, left side, step through, come up, warrior one, and release to chaturanga. Good. Inhale, up dog, thighs lift here too. Good, exhale, down dog. And then find that length from the hips to the fingertips. Notice if you're sinking into it and lift out of it more. Good. One more round of those as you're ready. Bring your feet to the front of your mat. Walk or hop. Lengthen, inhale. Fold, exhale. Good, chair pose, inhale, fold forward, exhale. Good, inhale, lengthen, exhale, step back and lower or jump back, good. And when you get to dog, you'll step right foot through, back heel flat, warrior one, inhale up. Exhale, release, and lower down. Good. Inhale up. Exhale back, left side, step through, warrior one. Inhale, and exhale, release, chaturanga. Good. Beautiful. Okay, let's step right foot up to the front of your mat. Come to warrior one pose. Spin that back heel flat. And let's wrap left arm under right arm for eagle pose. Garuda Asana. Good. Feel the shoulder blades sink down. Low belly lift. Inner legs hug together. Good, gently squeeze the forearms. And then as you're ready, you'll step left leg up and over right leg for eagle pose at the top of your mat. Good, knees go just slightly to the left to bring the hips level. Good, okay, so this transition, there's no rush for it, but we're going to transition from here through warrior three. So uncross the legs, extend the left leg back. You can keep the arms wrapped or unwrap them. Lengthen your spine, good. Make sure the hips are level, which is hard to do from the pose, but you can always bend your standing knee. Good, now release the arms, take the hands gently down to standing split. Certainly use blocks if they help you. Feel the shoulders move away from the ears. And you just go into a space that feels appropriate for you. Your left leg could be lifted half as high as hers and it would still be appropriate. Okay, so different bodies um, are, have, are, have different paths. We all have different paths. So you honor yours. Good. Now let's step back to warrior two. And we'll come in for side angle, either right elbow to right thigh or right fingertips down to the ground, left arm over left ear. If you, it helps you to have a block 
keep them handy on your mat. I often practice with blocks. I think that it's smart. <clears throat> Even if you think you don't need them, it's like nice sometimes to prove to yourself that you've got nothing to prove. <laughs> I think that's how you know you're getting somewhere, I think, in this practice. God, the breath is still flowing. Inner legs engage. Awareness of the parts of you that touch the ground. And then a lightness through the parts of you that lift up. Good. Come up to warrior two, inner legs hug together. And from here, we'll turn the left foot out. So both feet turn out, bend the knees for temple pose. Beautiful. And let's bring the palms together in front of your heart for a moment. And sit the sitting bones down, shoulder blades down. Low belly in and up a little bit. Go ahead and sit down just another inch. Let's straighten the legs. Turn the right foot in, turn the left foot out and come to warrior two facing the back of your mat. Why not? Switch up the perspective a little. Good, reverse warrior, inhale, exhale, hands down to the front of your mat, step to plank, bring the feet together, and we'll roll to the outer edge of the right foot, reach the left arm up for side plank. Find an upward lift of the hips so that you engage those obliques. Good, and maybe take left arm over left ear for that side stretch as long as you're here. Good. And then the left hand down to the ground, shift forward to plank and lower to chaturanga or skip the vinyasa is always an option. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale back, downward dog. All right, let's do an impromptu mandala. <laughs> I'm suddenly feeling this. All right, so let's step right foot up to the front of your mat, please. Come up to warrior two. From warrior two, transition to half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Good, deep breath. Of course, any variations you like when you're in your practice are yours, yours, including the child's pose variation. You know, they're all available. Beautiful. Now check it out. See if you can mindfully come up to tree. Mindfully rotate up. You can assist the left foot onto the right thigh. Keep your sense of humor and keep your breath flowing. Right? Yoga doesn't start and stop in between poses. Yoga is the experience of being here right now. Aligned with the bigger picture, including the earth that we stand on. Beautiful. And then for just a breath or just a breath filled moment, we'll tip back into half moon. Just for the sake of transition. Good. And step back to warrior two. Right leg straight, feet parallel. Fold forward into Prasarita. <sighs> and 
And be mindful that your hips stack over your heels. So oftentimes we can rock our weight just slightly forward, but the heels still ground down. All four corners of the feet ground down without being aggressive about it. Good. Now walk yourself over to your left foot. Please turn the left foot out to the front of your mat. Come up on the back toes. Step the right foot up to meet the left at the top of your space. Inhale all the way up to stand. And exhale, find center, palms meet at the heart. Beautiful. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, vinyasa, make your way back. Beautiful. All right. Left foot steps up to the front of your mat, back heel flat, come up to warrior one. And we'll wrap right arm under the left arm. Warrior one legs, eagle arms. Find a softening down, a softening down, as well as a lifting up. And again, notice if you get aggressive with yourself. This is a good one. I catch myself doing this um, quite a bit in my practice over the years. And it's like, okay, ah, undo the jaw. You can give it some love gently. <laughs> When you're ready, step right leg up and over left leg for Eagle Pose Garuda Asana. And any variation of this, right? Any variation, including what may feel like a rough outline, but it's actually where you're at today. It's very much engaged, which is how you fill in the blanks, is with your presence. Okay, so we're going to take a mindful transition into Warrior Three from here. You can keep the arms wrapped or unwrap them. If you're finding it's distracting you from finding the form, it's more important to get the hips level. You could even bend your standing knee, keep core engaged, shoulder heads like retract, but the elbows can reach toward the floor. Beautiful. And then as you're ready, release the hands, standing split. you drop in get space around your neck and let there be a sweetness about it beautiful We'll step back to warrior two with the right foot. And a reverse warrior on your inhale. Side angle on the exhale. Good. So in side angle, this left hip hugs into the midline, which she's totally doing, but I'm just using my hands to show you the direction that we're going in. Okay, so the left sitting bone really points toward the right foot. And as you work that, like left sitting bone to the right foot, feel the abdominal wall engage, and then a little rotation in the upper back. Inner legs stay hugged together. Come up to warrior two, warrior two. Good, we'll turn the right foot out. 
temple pose. Good. This time, let's turn the palms up and take chin mudra, thumb and pointer, finger touch. This is the connection of self with space, with the infinite, which we're a part of. It's not some esoteric thing. Like we're part of infinite space. How cool is that? And then this is it, like moving through you with every breath you take. Good. Now straighten the legs, turn Left foot in, right foot out, warrior two pose. Good. And hands down to the mat. Step to plank. Bring the feet together, please. Roll to the outer edge of the left foot. Reach the right arm up for side plank. Good. Feel the hips lift up. Yeah. And the elbow, especially the left elbow, let it be soft, buoyant, mobile, not locked. And then right arm over right ear, grab that side stretch. Beautiful. Right hand down, you're in plank. And lower to Chaturanga or skip the vinyasa, your choice. Inhale up and exhale back, down dog. All right, left foot steps through, back heel flat, come up warrior two. Reverse your warrior, inhale. Exhale to half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Beautiful. So slow motion as you're ready, transition to tree pose. Notice if you're gripping or holding anything, including your breath and smooth it out, soften it, receive. At its best, we integrate a little Shavasana into everything we do. That's Shavasana is one of the greatest teachers like that. Okay, and again, so just for the sake of transition, we'll come back to Half Moon, Ardha Chandrasana. And step back to Warrior Two Pose. Beautiful, left leg straight, left foot turns in, fold forward into Prasarita. So parallel the feet and fold forward. Very, very nice. All right, let's walk over to the right foot. Turn the right foot out, come up on the back toes, step the left foot up to the front of your mat. Rise all the way up to stand on an inhale. Palms meet at the heart on the exhale, good. Let's bend the knees, come to chair pose, please. And take a prayer twist to the right. 
Okay, so we can call this stage one and you can stay here. Stage two, maybe open the arms. Lots of breath. And stage three, if you feel like playing with the arm balance, you can come into side crow, plant the palms to the ground, rock your weight up onto that left tricep. Yeah, find a little mula banda. So engage the pelvic floor and then maybe straighten the legs out to the side. Good. Now, if you're in, still in side chair, come back to center and bring yourself up to stand. Beautiful. And if you're in side crow, come back to center <laughs> and bring yourself up to stand. Good. Tadasana, one of my favorite poses, believe it or not. All right, chair pose. Come on in and we'll switch sides. You can start with a prayer twist to the left. And if you're feeling like you'd like to open the arms, you can open the arms. And if you're feeling like you want to play with the arm balance, you can try it. Plant the palms. Rock your weight up onto the right tricep. The chin comes a little lower to the ground than you might think if you're not used to these arm balances. The legs can straighten out to the side like Heather's doing. Good. And then when you're ready, you can come back up to center and Tadasana, palms meet at the heart. Good, inhale, the arms reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Good, inhale, lengthen. And let's just step back to downward dog. All right, so set your knees down on your mat, you guys. Cross your ankles behind you, come onto your back. <laughs> it's kind of an abrupt transition, but we're gonna move into, well, bend your knees. Don't get too comfortable. <laughs> we're gonna move into a couple of back bends, but first take a moment to feel your body on the floor. And then walk the heels in toward your hips a little bit, feet about hips apart, which is probably narrower than you might think. So she's got her feet right at her sitting bones, which is where you want them to be, okay? Let's roll the hips up, roll the spine up and come to bridge pose first, which is for some of us not as big of a back bend, but to simply feel how it feels to lift up and maybe walk the shoulder blades together under the back and maybe interlace fingers. And keep the inner feet pressed down and keep the chin lifted just a little away from the chest and the heart moving toward the chin. Good. And unroll the shoulders and come onto your back. Take a moment, feet glued to the floor. Okay, so we'll either do another round of bridge or if you'd like to work Urdhva Dhanurasana, you can take the hands, palms down by the sides of your head. And then first, if you're coming in for Urdhva, come onto the top of your head first. Good. Begin to hug the elbows in toward each other. Now, as you're ready, press yourself up. Good. Now ground down through the inner feet. Good. Turn your right foot in just a smidge more. 
Good. One more breath, make it count. And release down, chin to chest, lower onto the back of your neck. And let's keep the feet on the floor, but separate your feet wide and drop the knees in toward each other to release your back. We do so many externally rotated poses typically in yoga. It's good to do some internal rotation as well. Good. And then you'll bring your knees up toward your chest and cross right knee on top of left knee. Um, actually, we're going to come into... Um, Go Mukhasana legs. So the knees stack as best you can and the knees to chest and you'll grab onto the outer feet. There you go. Good. And again, notice if you're being aggressive with yourself and just find a little softness. The shoulders can sink down. The hips sink down. Good. Now keep the legs like this, but release the feet and set your left foot on the floor for a moment. Well, really what we're going to do is twist to the left. So take your knees to the left. You don't have to set your foot down. Yeah. Take the hips two inches to the right as, as she did. Okay. Cause we want the sacrum and the sternum to be aligned. Beautiful. Okay, let's come back to center. Uncross the legs. And we'll switch sides. Left knee on top of the right knee. Knees up. Grab the outer feet with your hands. If this is like crazy uncomfortable for you, you could always take thread the eye of the needle as an option. And if it's like medium uncomfortable, then it might be interesting to sit with it. And if it feels like so good, I love this one so much. Just try not to be too attached to it. <laughs> so that's the challenge. Like note the fluctuations of the mind. I love this one in Sanskrit. The fluctuations of the mind are... Um, Chitti vritti. It's like the mind stuff. It's a little onomatopoeia. It sounds exactly as it is. Chitti vritti. And yoga is the stilling of the fluctuations of the mind. This is from the Yoga Sutras by Patanjali. When you're ready, release the feet. And you can, yeah, set the right foot down, take the hips two inches to the left, and then drop the knees to the right, left shoulder to the ground next to you. And follow the breath. That's one of the keys to that calm, clear mind space is the breath. To be present in the body and the sensations of the body is another one. And observing the fluctuations of the mind, observing them is another one. To become very present, it's to step beyond and not engage with the fluctuations, but just watch them.
And again, these are simply techniques from the Yoga Sutras. It's been written for many, many years. Come back to center. Uncross the legs. Hug your knees to your chest for full apanasana. Yeah. And as you're ready, release arms and legs for Shavasana. And when you're ready, give your arms and your legs a stretch. And bring your knees to your chest. Roll to your side. And press yourself up to sit as you're ready. And allow your eyes to close. Feel the point of contact where you sit on the ground. And then grow taller from that space. Notice how you feel in your body. And take a moment to honor that. You did the work. And then bring the palms together in front of the heart. May we be at peace. May our hearts remain open. May we know the beauty of our own true natures. May we be healed. May we be sources of healing in the world. Lift your heart up, bow your head in. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with us today. This is Michelle Goldstein. You're at Heart Alchemy Yoga on YouTube. Please be sure to subscribe to Heart Alchemy. Please 
give us your comments, your likes, share the videos with your social circles. If you feel moved to, we're super grateful for you all. You can also sign up for our email list at heartalchemyyoga.com. We're filming today at Home Yoga in Costa Mesa, California. Be sure to check this place out if you're ever in Southern Cali. We will see you guys next week.